Welcome back to the Wind Tunnel. We are now in the heat of the Tour de France, and in just a few short days, the Peloton will be arriving in Paris. And also in Paris on that same day is a super, super exciting race, and that's the women's La Course race. We're uh, big, big fans of women's cycling and racing here at Specialized, um, but we did notice that some of you uh, female cyclists out there had sent us in comments about some of our previous videos, like uh, beard or no beard, and the leg shaving video, that it wasn't exactly relevant uh, to you. Uh, so we decided in celebration of women's cycling and the course to do a special video that's uh, a little bit more directly relevant to female cyclists. So to help us out, we have Katie Sue from PR. She's a super avid cyclist. And uh, Katie Sue, what are we going to look at today? So today, in order to celebrate La Course and help support women's cycling, we thought we would check out the most aerodynamic hairstyles and see what's the best way to ride with our helmets. There's a lot of different styles out there, obviously. Uh, we decided for this video to concentrate on three of them. So the first one is just hair down, mm -hmm. super simple. The second one is probably one that many of you do, and that's a ponytail through the hair port of the prevail that you have. And uh, the third one is a little bit tighter up against the helmet, kind of like a bun, basically, tied up straight up against the helmet. Now, actually, I forgot. Uh, we wanted to do one more extra bonus one, if you don't mind. Uh, we wanted to check fully shaved. I don't think so. No? All right. <laughs> Katie Sue, how did it feel in there? A little windy, huh? It was pretty windy in there. How did the different styles feel? I have to say I was surprised that I felt the most wind on my neck and back with the bun style. So okay. I'm interested to see how it goes. Okay, cool. So the results are in and uh, perhaps not so surprising, uh, the hair down was the slowest. As you'll see, the hair is all over the place. Um, one actually surprising fact was I, I always assumed that the ponytail would be faster, but it turned out in this case that the ponytail was essentially identical to hair down. And uh, with Katie Sue especially, the ponytail had actually kind of split open and visually it looked essentially like her hair down, so maybe not so surprising after seeing that. Um, and finally we had the bun tied up, and this one was also a little bit surprising because I would have assumed that kind of cleaning up the hair behind would have been faster, but again, um, it was not actually any faster. It was the same as the other two. So after seeing these results and seeing that uh, Katie Sue's ponytail split open, we decided to actually go back and do an extra one where uh, the hair will be kind of a little bit tighter, and that was a tight braid. So once we did the tight braid and everything stayed together nice and tight on our back, that one actually did show a measurable uh, decrease in drag. And that one was worth over all the other three hairstyles, uh, about 14 seconds over our standard 40 kilometer distance. So uh, there's actually something there. So Katie Sue, now that the data is in, are you gonna change how you wear your hair out there? Yeah, so I usually wear my hair in a ponytail, so I will definitely be switching it up to a braid given I have the time to actually do so. You know what, if you're serious, I, I still think you should shave your head. That's not gonna happen. Once again, maybe some surprising results from the wind tunnel, but then again, that's why we do what we do here. Hopefully you learned something from uh, this video, and maybe, who knows, maybe we'll see some more braids out there on the road. Absolutely, and be sure to tune in on July 27th to support all the women racing at La Course, especially Bulls Dolmans and Specialized Lululemon, our two teams that will be racing on the S-Works Amira, which is also the performance bike sponsor of La Course. Super exciting. Thanks again for uh, sending all your questions in, and please continue to send them in through social media, Facebook, Twitter, hashtag arrows everything.